Welcome to the Traveling Marketer. It is Vlogmas Day 11. We're trying something new this time and something I'm doing for the first time in my channel. I am doing a try-on haul of swimwear and up to this very moment, I'm still unsure if I should actually try it on. But I really wanted you guys to see what it looks like worn. So if you are a family member or a workmate, time to go now. But at the same time, you've seen my post on Instagram wearing bikini. So I don't know what difference that makes. But anyway, here you go. It's December now. It's summer in Australia. But I'm looking right outside my window right now. And it's raining. So it's not the, it's not the driest or the warmest. Summer is La Nina in Australia right now. But I've actually bought the swimwear for a holiday and a destination wedding that we're attending in Feb and I got a bit carried away I must admit I've actually been pretty good in my shopping I don't usually buy things this much or at least I've stopped doing that clearly I have some I'm a recovering addict and it's something that I stopped doing since COVID and it has really enlightened me that you don't need so many things but I do apologize it's still I'm apologizing to myself yeah but it, it's still in there and I think that's what I've been doing I really just go shopping now if there is a quote-unquote need going on a holiday need for this many swimwear is you know it's not but you know what I mean so but what I'm trying to get to really is that I am a bit torn on the idea of a hole but this is very much a hole and I'd like everyone to remember and think about be more conscious of what you buy and where you buy it so I just wanted to let that out in there a disclaimer for all of you watching yeah but let's now do the hole but first things first I wanted to show you guys this. Oh my goodness. Is it on? Yes, it is. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys my sunburn. This is so bad. Went for a 21 kilometer walk yesterday, which I will link up above. And this is definitely self-inflicted. I did not reapply sunscreen. Oh, well, I did, but too late. Not until the, the last three kilometers, which was obviously too late. It actually looks more painful than it is. See, I can tap it. And it doesn't hurt as much. I've been putting a lot of aloe in it, but it's still, it's very, it will be very interesting. And the timeliness, I actually have some on my nose as well and in my arms. The timeliness of me doing a swimsuit haul with a sunburn, probably not the best look, but at least you'll find out if the certain swimwear is manageable when you have a sunburn. But all right, let's do it. If, and this is perfect. I'll tell you my size, my, my typical size, my build, and my height so that if you happen to be the same frame or the same body shape as me you'll get an idea of what this will actually look like on you so i stand five feet two inches i don't know what that is in centimeters maybe my accountant husband can convert that for me in a minute and i also weigh 59 kilos my heaviest 157 all right so my husband just converted that five two is 157 centimeters i'm obviously short i've got short torso short legs stumpy legs especially now that i've gained weight i'm also quite big in the chest let's get started my plan is to start with the least skimpy and then as i was putting them as i was hanging them up i thought i might actually do it by brand so that it's not very confusing for you guys let's start with very loyal to australia can you see that and the most conservative of the bunch it is from rip curl how can i not know they still all have tags so it even says good coverage so this is i bought this actually not uh, not at the same time as i bought these ones these ones were bought in the past week or so this is a couple of months old i got a rip curl gift card so i bought some boxer short boxer shorts board chart for wade but then I also bought a long sleeve swimwear because I don't have one, which is good because we now live slightly closer to the beach, which will be good if it's a bit cooler. I can wear it and it's still got a bit of tiny hole in there, which still makes it a bit stylish. I really like it. It's the, the, the texture of this part right here. It's different. See, it's got a little like a beehive. What is it? It's not a beehive, but a honey honeycomb, honeycomb texture. And then this is your typical uh, swimsuit. So this one is hundred thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents so 140 australian dollars and it's actually made out of recycled material see this garment was crafted this garment was crafted from yarns 
and made from recycled post-consumer materials made with sustainability in mind. And a lot of these swimwear are, and I definitely kept that in mind as I was, I was buying. So this is it, it's a full coverage, got a little bit of um, your weights showing, and then the honeycomb actually shows up, is, is in there as well. In the back, you got this really handy zip. It's a very easy, as you saw there, very easy zip on, zip up and you can use this long, which is good. If you can't reach, that is perfect. Yeah, that is a size small. Ah, oh, this is really cute. So this is actually the first time I've put this on. And of course, the sleeves are a bit too long because I'm so tiny, but that's okay. And it is actually pretty warm, but yeah, you see, it's got a turtleneck on, it's kind of warm. So this is definitely more of a winter swim, you'll see. Yeah, well, I don't know if you heard Wade saying a wetsuit feel, but not quite, because it's still the very thin, swimmer material but definitely more for that colder day oh how cute i like this one i like it and then i'm going to start with the most expensive so there's a good range in here Lip curl is a bit more of your mid-range so i have some affordable mid-range to a bit more expensive but not designer expensive so not your louis vuitton not your fendi type so i will give you a price range on all of them so i told you the price of this one so let's start with the brand called andrea iyama i hope i'm pronouncing that because i actually did, did not research how to pronounce this and this is a color orange it's called the nisi swim swimsuit in a medium and it's a one-piece swimwear. Oh, I love it. When I, it's just probably a bit impractical, but <laughs> hey ho, it's not like I'm going to the Olympics wearing it. So it's a one-piece suit like this. It's got a cup and an underwire. I typically don't like an underwire, but hey, it just makes the structured look, yeah? And this, and it's connected and it's adjustable. It is. It is connected at the back. Yeah, so it becomes a strap there at the back, which you can uh, take on and off, which, and then you got a clasp here at the back as well. So, but the interesting here, the interesting thing on this one, so you can wear it like this and have that falling off like this in the arm or worn this side or worn on the other side. So there are different ways you can wear it and you can move this back strap to the other side as well. Relatively full coverage in the back there, little tiny hole here. The It's a bit high cut. It's a bit high cut, but it's still not cheeky cheeky, yeah? Still not the cheekiest. And I'm used to wearing full coverage. That was my thing. I always buy full coverage. But in this, this time around, my husband's teasing me that as I got older, I got cheekier with my swimwear. But that's really, that's really cute. Yeah, it's a really nice color as well all right so this is probably the most probably the fanciest of the bunch and i decided to put it on with on this side i don't know why it just highlights the sunburn a little bit more but at the same time i don't want it to hit it yeah but it's like got the cup happening and yes yeah, just full coverage it's really nice i have some sunnies that would go so well with this all right another one from Andrea Iyama. So this one is the more expensive. I think they're probably close to 200 a pop. This one is over to, yeah, if not a little over. And this one is really cool as well. Dark brown, very high cut, high waist. And this is a small, I really, really like the look of it. And they didn't have it in medium. And I thought, oh, this style might actually work out. So I bought a small anyway. Well, typically, I would wear a small a small bottom if it's a two-piece and a medium top. That's typically my size. So that is an eight or a 10, yeah, Australian sizing. But sometimes it's really annoying when you have to buy it in a set and one size only. So this is a small, which was still manageable, but oh my goodness, because it is such a high waist. So this is made out of nylon and spandex. It's such a high waist, right? And it's a high cut as well. So a bit high cut, but still not really cheeky, but you got that high cut there in the ass and here in front as well. But it's a very high waist, thick really thick band here as you can see and you'll see when i wear it it just like sucks it all up right and then it just brings all the folds up here let's see i burnt about 1100 calories yesterday so let's see and then the top 
the top is really nice so it's got an underwire again but it has that thing in the middle where it just actually goes up like that and then it does have a little it does have a pad padding in there and then the back part is a clip-on and the good thing about this clip-on and this might be the first time where I've seen a clip-on where there are different uh, tight, tighter, tightest. Yeah, so they have different parts where you can hook it in. And that's a silver, silver hardware or a silver hook. Yeah, so that's really cute. And that is a small top as well to confirm that. Yeah, which is a UK 8 to 10 apparently, which is Australia 8 to 10. This is the really hilarious one that is a bit tight. Woo! But it's all good. It's a bit high cut as well. And I'm tippy toeing because I'm so short. You can see that there and it has that. It's the smoothest, silkiest, velvety, you know, silk. It's just got really, it feels really nice on the skin. It's just a bit tight when it, and if you, <laughs> when I bend over, <laughs> like, see this one? That's what I'm saying. Like, it's so <laughs> soft, everything. And it just leaves that. Where, where do the fat go? Somewhere. And it's all up here. The next one is by a brand called Love Wave. Yeah, Love Wave. Have a look at that. Love Wave. Their style is very much on the glittery, shining, shimmering design. And then on the inside is your typical swimsuit material. Nylon, mit nylon, nylon and spandex. It's made in Indonesia, which is really nice. And this is really cute. So it's a one piece, but it's so hard. It's kind of complex in trying to make it work. So it's a one piece, right? It's all connected on the left side. And then it's relatively full coverage as well in the bottom, a bit high cut, but still pretty in the back is still pretty good. And then it's one shoulder, right? Like this, yeah? So you got this and that all in one shoulder, all attached. So one, one covers one boob, the other one covers the other boob. You'll see, that's why I wanted to try it on so you guys can actually see it. It's very, it can be prone to pulling. I can already see some in there. Oh, let's go have a look. There you go. So you just got to be really careful. This is probably the most comfortable of them all. The smoothest, the softest, everything. And how nice, how nice is that? It's just really look bizarre with my sunburn, but it's so easy to put on. Trick is you got to put them on to so this part, this part and that part all in one go the other thing as well see it just did that again so it does the uh it tends to just roll but because that's how soft and smooth it is then another one and this is a bit of a funny story i did not realize that i only bought the top i thought i bought the set so i had to buy the bottom separately luckily it's free shipping for anything over 150 australian dollars so as you can already tell this one's a bit on the uh, on the expensive side because if the bottoms alone were over 150 and the top it's it's quite ex it's quite expensive but i don't buy designer designer ones like those designer houses i think because they're usually filled with logos i don't like that but i don't know i don't want to say that i will never because i can see when people wear it i'm like oh that's actually quite nice but they're always usually the triangle very simple designs right the, what you're really paying for uh is the logo and what you'll notice in the swimwear that i've been showing you they're all a bit extra <laughs> because I like my swimwear a bit, a bit out there. I just, I just want the really cool, really cool design. So if you're into that, you're going to love these. But anyway, this is one from Beach Riot, but it's the same glittery, glamoury look. And this is, where is that? It's a high waist bikini, which got some sort of crumple in the, uh, in the, in the middle there. It looks really cute. And then it's the swimwear in, but that's really soft, really smooth. You guys got to feel it. It's like almost borderline silk. And it's material, 71% nylon, 24% metallic, and 5% spandex made in the USA. It's a purple looking one. And then the top is just an adjustable singlet type. It's almost a crop top, which I reckon you can probably wear out. And this is a size medium. So with this one, I think the, go the problem is if you move this, like, see, I just move right there. And the lining 
would show so it tends to just slip but it just so it shows you how smooth it is but look at the, the back it's just full coverage really nice it is starting to get really painful the glittery is not helping with the sunburn this one is a is another two piece from a place called Osiray. Osiray. I see. glittery but it's a kind of a different glittery look and feel than the first two yeah i could see that one it's like metallic embossed this is just oh and it's got purple and the pink and some sort of other color and silvery thread this one is just one color and i've got a size medium very high cut very cheeky <laughs> and this is made out of polyamide and metallic fiber made in italy and it's a totally different color but it goes together yeah so you can mix and match that if you must but this is a medium as well when i saw this i'm like whoa that is tiny but it actually does expand a little bit so that is the medium bra medium bikini top and then inside is your typical swimwear material he calls my aerobics <laughs> outfit is that the 70s or the 80s or the night was like a re really really high cut really need to be careful with the top as it's very tiny as i showed you earlier so you gotta make sure that it doesn't lift up we're now gonna go to the slightly a bit more mid-range maybe about 120 180 price range australian dollars is a brand called bond i play with the place called bondi obviously here in australia so starting off with this one all right a bit of a story i had to email them because i'm like oh on your website it says the model is wearing size this but it looks like it's a copy paste of every of their other products and their clothing but i said oh but then when i tried to place the order it says os so one size only they replied and said yes all our swimsuit at the moment are one size only but they fit apparently from 6 to 14 but then when they came in oh my god they're really tiny but they actually stretch pretty good so this is obviously one piece so try color i like it and it's a bit high cut slightly cheeky this one as well as you can see there it's almost the front and back is pretty much almost the same yes and this one is that covers the chest part and this is the uh, the middle part and it's just inside you just get that type of material it's the same it's the same material pretty much it's no lining for uh per se yeah so that's a one shoulder and it's got this transparent strip which makes hanging in a coat hanger a lot easier oh two hundred dollars this one <laughs> So why did I say it's mid-range? But anyway, it's handmade from the original tubular crinkle fabric. It's eco-friendly, containing recycled nylon, designed and handmade in Australia. Handmade. That is impressive. Uh, that's probably why it's slightly a bit more upper mid-range, I'd say, if it's $200. It's actually a bit harder to put on, I have to say. And you really have to be mindful that everything stays in place, especially this green section right here. But it's also quite, quite high cut. And then same thing from bondi as well is a it's part of their bound by bondi collection but same material all their swimwear has that same material and it's got the twisty strap so if you have a bit of an ocd like which i do it's probably gonna bother bother you padding, but because it is dark it's actually a bit more manageable the only two piece that i got from them same style but in a two piece yeah so that's a twi twist so one shoulder off shoulder and again no lining whatsoever but it's a uh, it doesn't hurt. it's not itchy or anything at the back so some really good quality handmade materials in there in a slightly but not overly high cut bikini bottom this one really looks nice but again does that a little bit of a cut but it's uh i like it more than the other nude color my only and that's what it looks from the back so relatively full coverage again what i just don't like about it is that obviously there's no padding and i'm slightly covering it there because you obviously don't want that to be seen too much these are definitely under 100 bucks if not 100 if they're not under 50 yeah they're all under 50 dollars and i think i even got them on sale which is an extra 15 percent of everything from cotton on 
body. And what's really good about Cotton On Body is like, I think, I don't know if they only started this year. The majority of their swimwear are made from recycled materials. So I haven't really done much research on, on that process, but straight away, lesser evil. If at least you can start with that, that is good. Okay, starting off with, so it's kind of similar to this piece here in terms of neon bright color, but it's got the orange and pink instead of the neon yellow, purple, and pink orangey whatever color that is so i don't tend to like buying similar colors it's like very very close similar color and this one and it, it's actually quite interesting because the cotton on pieces you can really tell the difference with the with the quality i mean this is still great especially if you have like uh, this is 11 and i still have some more you know what i mean like how <laughs> how often do you plan to wear them i do will keep them until they don't fit but you can tell the the difference in there i have to definitely say that but these are also pretty good it's a tie up strap and it's got an underwire so for the breast area and it's got a little connecting thing in there and then you can also it's got a bow in there and then at the back you have that same hook that's in gold and then you got three sections where you can put it in as well just like the other one and it's got a really low back and this is the uh the bottom part where that's elastic right there and what else do you have yeah and it's inside the lining is brown so it's a skin tone skin tone lining so it's going to be cute and it's a size small i went small for all of my cotton on ones so it does vary isn't it so it just uh, it depends on the um on the brand that's why you always check their size guide or if you already know your size just make sure that they have a solid return policy so that you can return if it doesn't fit the thing i like about this one is that the strap is meant to be twisty and all over the place that's just the design but what i don't like is see that gap there there's a bit of a gap happening here in terms of how it fits i don't know if it's just me but in terms of it's kind of really cute but again i'm telling you it's interesting how if you have a short torso and a bit of a belly it actually does not do you justice doing it this way like a lower cut tends to be a bit more flattering for a um short torso right there but yeah it's just what full coverage right there at the back as well now green a really nice emerald green here from cotton on again 24.99 but i got 15 percent off which probably they still have at the moment so do check it out is a so see there's some they're small is big actually so but it's a full coverage but slim on the hips right here yeah but it's a full coverage like that and similar to that one piece the bikini tops got the same vibe adjustable strap you have that connector thing except it's all green underwire skin tone lining and a hook as well exact same material and you got three see that even unhooking that is hard <laughs> to see the differences there are very small things you know anyway so that's one and you can adjust that strap it's pretty cool interestingly enough like a cut like this is probably the most flattering if you have a bit of a a bit of a belly this one doesn't have any pads so it's just and you can adjust it like that and that's just what it looks on the back and finally the last one here you've got Conan body as well 24.99 this is probably the i don't know if i actually get the sweat or it's more of a sunbathing i did not realize that but it's definitely got more of that towel material which if i have a look in uh, made in china i used to be a plastic bottle see that's really cool yeah anyway oh that is the label why did I get excited? The label used to be a plastic bottle. So pretty good. Uh, what is it made out of? Let's have a look. It's made out of 11% elastic, 92% polyester. That's not in English. Where is uh, Here you go. The body is 89% polyamide, 11% elastane. Lining is 92 poly uh, and 8% elastane. So definitely synthetic. No, uh, but see, it's got the towel-y towel feeling so i think it can still get wet because inside you got the the typical swimwear material but again full cut the full coverage thick elastic in there which sometimes if the belly is not cooperating it's annoying because it folds but here you go got light brown full coverage swimwear and a triangle very simple bikini here 
and bikini top which you got there yeah triangle it's got a pad on it the it's got a long there's like a cool cute little orange adjustable strap and again just the same gold material to adjust and you got three sections where you can put it in but interestingly how do you even like see how bad does that look like though yeah i mean no one can see but i suppose you can hide it like that i always it has to be the end for me and i do remember when i was trying on when i went to like a proper bra specialist she said that if you have to put it all if if it's not in that last hook you know in the bra then it's the wrong size actually <laughs> Okay, here you go. So it's high waist. Typically, the high waist actually cuts your... If you have a short torso, it actually doesn't do you justice. All right, that was really funny. That was really entertaining, at least for me. So I hope you found that useful and you got some ideas on if you like that style of swimmers. And hopefully you found that hilarious as well at my expense. If you did, make sure you boop this video and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you again tomorrow. Happy Vlogmas. Bye. Bye.